Hey YouTube, it's your boy Andrew, back at it again with another video. And today, we're gonna be doing a review on the Akatsu P2001 solar generator. So, let's get into it. This is the most affordable solar generator, pound for pound, out there online. I couldn't find anything similar to this price range. Right now you can get this for $8.99 using the coupon code in the link in the description below. This thing has a two kilowatt hour battery, LiPo 4. It has a 2000 watt inverter with a 4000 watt surge. It has 500 watts of solar input at 12 volt to 48 volt, 15 amp meaning you can charge this thing off of one solar panel if you'd like, take a while. If you max it out at 500 watts, it would charge in around five and a half hours. The AC input on this unit is 1100 watts in off the wall, which is great, and it just takes a AC plug. Now you can combine that with the solar input to charge this thing at 1500 watts, which is incredible. You could charge it from zero to full in about 90 minutes or less. This thing has a flashlight, guys. This thing has a flashlight, which is pretty cool. I like that. It does on, it does off, it does SOS. It has two USB-A ports, five watt. It has two USB-A um, ports at 18 watts. It has two USB-C ports at 100 watts, which is great, they gave us two. It has an XT60 plug on the DC side, two barrel connectors, and a cigarette plug right here. This thing has storage on the top, which is great. You can put all your guys' cables in here. It comes with all these cables right here. On this side, it has six six, like I said, AC plugs. So you can charge six things off this thing. Now, my, I do have a gripe about the plug cover. It's great that they gave us one because you could just flip this down, but this thing does get in the way if you're trying to put like a bulkier plug in here. Um, there's no way to remove it without breaking it that I could find, which is, you know, downside, but it's okay. This unit also has a built-in UPS capabilities as long as you whatever you're powering is under 1100 watts it works perfect we just had a storm the other day and i put this thing to the test and it worked absolutely great our neighborhood did lose power um, my house is on battery backup but for this test i took it off and it does work awesome you can see that the light is on the grid and i have the tv plugged into the Akatil generator. Also, the fans on this unit are very, very quiet. They're the most quiet out of all the solar generators that I have. This unit has the most quiet fans. That's when it starts up and I rarely hear it kick on. To turn the AC on, you just hold the buttons down and they glow when they're on. It makes a beeping noise, it's great. This thing is around 55 pounds and it has the most sturdiest handles. They're made out of like titanium or aluminum. I have no clue, maybe vibranium. Now this thing, pound for pound guys, I don't think anyone's competing with it. Um, I highly recommend it. One thing I'd like to see an improvement on is right here, the solar input. If they put this thing at 700 watts in, I would have, gotten like three of these units um, but it's an amazing unit overall I highly recommend it this unit also does not come with like a Bluetooth app or you know internet app there's no smartphone app for this unit it's just a standalone system which is you know it's, it's acceptable it's good you know um, it has an LCD screen it's not touch screen which is I in my opinion a little bit better than touch because I've had a touchscreen solar generator that the touchscreen 
died on me and I wasn't able to use it anymore. Um, I had, uh, luckily the, the solar generator had an app and I can access it through the app, but scary stuff when you pay all this money and the, the, you know, the screen dies on you. Other than that guys, I really like the Ocotil P2001. It's a really great unit. I do like that it has LiPo 4 batteries. Like I said, two kilowatt hour system. I did test it. Now this unit was around 81% efficient using my watt meter. Pretty good stuff. It's on par with most of the other brands. I haven't seen anything else out there. The LiPo 4 batteries that are, you know, getting like 87%, 86, you know. I think the highest I've ever seen was around 85%. So this is around 81, which is, it's, it's passable, it's good, you know. Um, 2000 life cycles on the battery, amazing. I really like this unit, highly recommend it. Go to the link in the description below to check it out. Thanks, for, thanks and like and subscribe.